This video is gonna cover the really exciting bit. This is setting off a print. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get that file that's been loaded from the USB, throw it into the machine, hit start print, and then we're gonna go through the sequence of events we wanna be checking to make sure that we're gonna get a good successful part straight off this machine. So before we start the print, we need to make sure we have the file configured correctly. Now we'll do that through a software called Ultimate Acura, which is specific for this machine. But also what we need to go into that is a 3D model. Okay, that can be acquired, you can download it, you can design it yourselves, there's loads of different ways that you can acquire that. But the whole purpose of that is it means that we can press print and be sure that what's going to come off the machine is what you're expecting. In order for us to start this print, this then needs to be configured through Cura, which is going to take a 3D model that we've acquired, prepare that ready for the machine, and then we're going to save it onto USB so we can actually go through this sequence of events here. So here we have the file pre-sliced onto USB. This is one of the ways we can run this machine, the other way is through the network. But the way we'd run this is just plug the USB into the front of the machine. We'll then have this icon here highlight blue, so we're going to go select from USB. And then in this case, we're going to select the Ultimaker robot as a test print. Now, this has been a test print that's been used time and time and time again over the past. And what that will do is it will show us everything that in, about the machine, reels off pretty quickly in about 30 minutes. So we're just going to hit print on here. And what it's now going to do is preheat, and then it'll actually start the print without any other interaction from us. The stage in which the machine's at at the moment, it's going to be going through a heat up cycle. So it'll heat up the platform and then the nozzle to the desired temperature. And then what it's going to do is it'll just kick in and start printing for us. So that's our first print completed off the machine. Hopefully it's been a great success. If not, we've got the troubleshooting videos to go through, but let's go with it. It's been a great success. Let's get some more exciting projects running through this machine.